Do you want to fall my bed? Get up. Good girl. Are you going to help me film? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi, my name is Madeline and I am so happy that you are here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. Today we are going to be talking about seven ways that you can start the new year on the right foot and just different ways you can set yourself up for success in the new year. Winnie is helping me film today. Are you helping? Do you have any advice for the people? No. Okay. Also, super exciting. I just got home from work and I hit 20k on TikTok today, which is super exciting. I've been working towards that for a very long time. That was actually my goal for 2021 and it is January 4th and I just now hit it, which is okay. It's only four days off. So, you know, it's still exciting for me. So, Thank you so much for everyone that follows me over there. If you do not, I have my username down below, so be sure to give me a follow. I post a lot more over there. TikTok and Instagram are like my main platforms. I post a lot over on Instagram and TikTok. So if you'd like to see more of my life, um, go ahead and follow me on those. So we are gonna go ahead and sit down, get your warm fuzzy blanket, get your iced vanilla latte because we are dragging today. So the very first one is to make goals for yourself. I actually have a video on my goals for 2022. I will link it down below if you guys want to watch that. I think it's super important to have goals and a purpose towards the year, something you want to accomplish and work for, and just something to encourage and motivate you throughout the year. Think about your different goals that you have. These can be like super minor goals. Like one of mine is to read two books a month. That's not a huge deal. And then other ones are like social media goals, um, following goals money goals, health goals. It could be literally anything. You can make one, you can make 50. I think 50 might be a little bit too much, but you know, if that's what motivates you. That's what motivates you. I think setting goals at the beginning of the year is super important because it just gets your year started on the right foot and you're super motivated, ready to crush your goals. And I just love like making lists, writing goals, to-do lists, all that stuff. So I love writing down all of my goals at the beginning of the year. The next one is actually one of my goals for this year, and that is to make a morning and night routine. These can be super in-depth if you want, or it can be super simple, like make your bed, read your Bible, drink a glass of water, your skincare routine, simple things like that, and just something that you make sure you do every single morning and every single night. I feel like it's super important because if you had a lazy day and did not get anything done, you accomplished your morning and night routine, you made your bed, you made sure you had water, you made sure you made a breakfast, and I just think that's super important and motivating, especially on those days when you don't really feel like doing anything, and at least you accomplish that. You can go to bed knowing you accomplished a morning routine and a night routine, and I just feel like going through my morning and night routine is so good for my mental health because I feel ready, accomplished, ready for the day, ready to go to bed, ready for the next day, and I just love having a morning and night routine. I'm trying really hard to stick to it. Um, I really slack in like the skincare department and stuff like that. So that is personally what I'm working on this year. Number three is to declutter and get organized, which is something I really need to do. I'm gonna do that when I go back to school, um, go through my closet and purge a lot of things, take them to Play-Dohs. Um, I'm gonna find another organization to donate to besides Goodwill because I've actually heard not very good things about Goodwill, so. Do your research on your organizations that you donate to. Find some good ones that are worthy donating to. So I'm going to do that. Go through my clothes, my like random crap and throw stuff away. And just purging and getting rid of stuff, whether you sell it, donate it, whichever you prefer. Just have a nice, clear, organized space to start the year because when everything is super cluttered and unorganized and my room is a mess, I just feel super like anxious and stressed and I just don't want to do anything when I have a messy room so that will automatically boost how productive you are and if you sell your things or donate them you are helping out someone else which just helps you feel good on the inside so I highly recommend going through your stuff decluttering it organizing it and just having a fresh clear space house apartment room whichever for the new year this next one is very ironic as I'm literally drinking a latte but I have it right here and that is to drink your water. Staying hydrated is just so important. Drinking water is so good for you. I highly recommend getting a hydro drug. I love my hydro drug. I try to drink two of those a day and just staying hydrated. This helps with like muscle soreness, headaches. Um, being dehydrated can cause a lot of issues that you don't think about. And like if you just feel like poo, like 
nine times out of ten you're dehydrated and a hack if you do not like water um i highly recommend either making like lemon water cucumber water um i think you can do it with limes too you can put probably like any fruit in water i would imagine uh, I don't know if all of them are good in water, but you can. I also really recommend getting Liquid IV, and I do work with them. Um, this isn't sponsored. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a promo. I literally just thought of talking about Liquid IV right now. But it's like an electrolyte mix, very similar to Gatorade. You mix it in water and it flavors it. Super good. Um, I do have a code. I believe it's Madeline A. Powers, which gets you 25% off and free shipping. So if you don't like water and you really want to increase your water intake i highly recommend checking out liquid iv the next one is actually another one of my goals as well and that is to eat more whole foods and fresh foods and just focus on what i'm putting into my body trying to eat a little bit healthier i don't really believe in like fully eliminating things from like your diet but I think it's really important to put emphasis on whole foods and less processed things, which is so hard. And I struggle with that so much because I love pasta. I love pizza. I love chicken nuggets. Like I love all of those things and it's really hard for me to not eat them. But um, I'm trying to implement more fruits and vegetables and stuff into my diet. I just think we will notice a huge change if you shift your nutrition. When you fix your nutrition, it shifts a lot of things that you didn't even realize were happening. So that is just a good way to get your year started on the right foot. Do a good, healthy, whole food, fresh food, grocery haul. Get those good, yummy foods in. Number six is to get an exercise routine. And I feel like this is the one that everybody dreads because everyone thinks exercising is hard. It's not fun. It sucks. And that can be true depending on what you're doing. You just have to find what you love. Like I love weightlifting. I love taking classes at the barcode. If you guys watch my vlogs, I'm there literally all the time. I work there, I take classes there, always at the barcode. Am I gonna get up at 5 a.m. to go on a run? No, I hate running. Will I get up at five to go to a workout class and go lift? Yeah, because that's what I love. So you have to start experimenting, figure out what you love. Um, you can try cycle, walking. I love walking. Mom and I go on walks pretty much every day when I'm home. Bar is fine. Weightlifting is fine. Gyms also um, usually have different classes so you can take yoga, you can do HIIT, all sorts of things. There's so many different components to exercise and I think it's super important just to find which part of exercising you love. You might have to experiment a little bit at the beginning of the year, but I think finding what you love and sticking to it, going a couple days a week is super important, will benefit you in so many ways, will help you mentally, physically. Yeah, I just think that is a great way to start the new year, get into that exercise routine. And number seven, which is the last one, but certainly not the least, and that is to pray over your year and your goals and just talk to God about what your goals are, what you want to accomplish, how you're feeling, and just pray for your mental health, your physical health, everything you are concerned about going into the new year, and you will feel 10 times better. If maybe you don't really know how to pray, you can always write it down in like a journal type thing and just write out your feelings, your goals, how you want to accomplish it, how you need help accomplishing it, and that will just get you in such a good mindset to get started on those goals and started with the new year. And those are my seven ways to get 2022 started on the right foot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video.